You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and again, spring has sprung. We're back here again this year with Patrick Sullivan to talk about Keep Brockton Beautiful Day. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you, Mark. Good nice to see, see you, you again. We've been doing this for quite a few years. We have now, about 14 years, I think. 14 years 14 for years. Keep Brockton Beautiful Day, and uh, at the end of the winter, it wasn't as bad as it was last winter, no. there's a lot of debris floating around the city. And people mm -hmm. are starting to rake up their yards and do mm -hmm. their part, but you know, people go down the street, they roll down their car window, and they might unfortunately throw something out the window. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen on Saturday the 16th of April? Tell us. Well, Saturday the 16th of April, we have uh, Keep Brockton Beautiful Day. And if anyone hasn't participated before, uh, people set up over at Heights Crossing. That's over by Westgate. Mm -hmm. And uh, they set up in the morning. They come about 7.30, sign up. And we give them an assignment, or they can tell us an area that they would like to clean that particularly bothers them or looks dirty. They go out, uh, they clean for a while, they come back about noontime, and we have a cookout for all the volunteers at Heights Crossing. So it's a good day, especially if it's a sunny day. It's a great time to get out with your neighbors, do a little cleaning, and uh, make the city look better. And you, like, like Patrick said, you can pick your area. You have certain places that you want clean, like, give me we, an example or two. Well, sure. Uh, we have, you can name, you can pretty much name any street in town. Some are, some are worse than others. Mm -hmm. But we especially like to concentrate on the main streets. The, the streets that people from all over come in and, uh, and get an impression of Brockton. So it would be your, you know, your Pleasant Streets and Oak Streets and Main Streets and Westgate Drive and, mm -hmm. and all these uh, heavily traveled areas, West Street, uh, Belmont, where, where, uh, where guests to Brockton come and see it and it gives them an impression of the city. And that, that's what we want to keep cleanest. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta you encourage people to sign up in advance, correct? Because there's there's like a liability form. We here. do. We have forms. They're available on the city website, which is uh, www.brockton.ma.us. Mm -hmm. There's a link from the city website. Uh, we do have a liability form that people sign just to, you know to make sure they don't get hurt. You can also sign for. Uh, kids under 18. Mm -hmm. So if somebody had, say, a little league team that wanted to clean up, someone could sign for that group. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we cannot let you really participate unless some sort of form is signed, either by a parent or by, by the individual. Um, and, and those are available online. They'll also be available for sign-ups the morning before. But if you want to skip the sign-up process and waiting in line, we encourage you to do it online and get okay. it to us. Okay. And uh, you run the recycling center. I do. And is there a phone number in case anybody wants to call for any kind of information? Yes, there is. It's 508-580-7827. Mm -hmm. 7827. Mm -hmm. Okay. That goes with the city digits. The 508 is the area code. 580-7827. Um, I remember, you know, having gone to this for pretty much most of the 14 years. Sometimes mm -hmm. I clean. Sometimes I'm running a camera. It just depends on sure. the day. There are groups that participate. I know last year Haitian Community Partners was part of the, mm -hmm. the group. I think maybe the Cape Verdean Association. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, Little League teams. I think there was a sorority, if I remember last year. There was, year. from Bridgewater. Bridgewater right. State. Bridgewater sent, State. Sent some people, um, sure. And then I think, you know, some of the Stonehill folks. We had some Stonehill. Yeah, we actually had some groups uh, from Stonehill, too. Uh, we we have groups from, from everywhere that decide to come around, but mostly South Shore area. Uh, we have a lot of church groups. We have a lot of groups for, uh, uh, like the high school kids that might need some points, uh, community, community service, service. points mm -hmm. to graduate. We're more than happy to sign people's community service forms okay. and give them that credit. So there's all different organizations, Boys and Girls Club. I know uh, volunteers. Well, sure, there, any group you can think of, I'm sure, has some sort of requirement to do some community service, and this is perfect because we'll take care of you. And I met you some come nice down. people that just kind of became their own group. Mm -hmm. I, I saw people uh, just a few locations. I remember the Garden Club mm -hmm. over at DW Field Park. The mm -hmm. um, uh, there was a group that uh, the cleanup crew. They were over at the Howard Street Bridge. Mm -hmm. I met some people over near the post office, and then a lot of people tend to look at their the local playground. Okay, sure, I know the yeah. Edgar group 
the Edgar mm -hmm. Playground, they always get to, they did cleanups before this cleanup. Right. For yeah. years oh, and years, sure. and years back in the day with Ginny Curtis. Yes. And she then you see your elected officials out there. You see, you do. see the mayor. Last mm -hmm. year, the mayor did an all-nighter and came back from Cape Verde and was there. Just in time. At the crack yes. of dawn early. Sure. Yeah. Um, it started with a couple yeah. of elected officials that I remember, former city councilors, mm -hmm. Tom Brophy Absolutely. and Greg Miller. Absolutely. If I remember right back in year that's, one. That's basically what uh, what started the program was some questions about the litter in town. Do we have an organized program to address it? And uh, yeah, Tom Brophy was was great about getting the things going and getting, uh, you know, actually having it turned into an ordinance with the beautification committee and mm -hmm. the whole, all, all that, that end of it. Uh, they in the promotions. Yeah, that uh, there was a lot of people when we first started that uh, that really cared and came together. So, what are you hoping for for numbers? How many people would you like to have? Jeez, I'd like to see, I'd like to see 500 mm -hmm. show up. I think that's a reasonable on a nice sunny day, especially. I might want to see a little bit more mm -hmm. if it's raining and cold. I know, uh, you know. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to see quite as many, but that. That's nothing we know at this point what we're going to see. But 500, we could get a lot of work done for three and, hours. And you have all the supplies. You have I the do. rakes, the, the, mm -hmm. the gloves, the bags, the whole nine yards. Yes, we do. And we make sure that everything gets picked up. Uh, that's why we have you sign up for an area so that we know ahead of time that that area is going to be addressed. And we can make sure that by the end of that day, Saturday, that that, that trash will be picked up, removed from the street. It'll be gone. We, um, that's the one thing we ask. We don't, we, we encourage everyone to clean, but we don't like to be surprised. So that's why we have that list mm -hmm. so that people, so that we know exactly where to go at the end of the day to make sure everything's picked up. And that list helps us because we can go follow them around. And it helps you too. It yeah, we give you one to take your pictures. Sure. Now absolutely. you have partners that help you with this. There are some of the, the different refuse companies. Republic Services sponsors it. They do the trash for the city. Okay. And they're probably the major sponsor of this. They, they provide the vehicles. They're going to provide all the coffee and donuts beforehand. They provide uh, drawing prizes at the end of it. Mm -hmm. um, Heights Crossing is also a huge sponsor of this. They provide the venue. They provide all the food for the cookout. Mm -hmm. And without those two major sponsors, it would be very difficult to, to bring this day to fruition every year. What's the so, best part for you? Best part for me is actually driving around at the end, driving around at the end, seeing the work that the citizens did, knowing that they care enough to go out. A lot of times, you know, in our job, we go, my guys go and, and they'll pick a street and it'll be, they wonder if anyone notices. Mm -hmm. But these are the people that come out and they do notice, they do care. They're investing, they're, they're volunteering their time for free. I think it's great. I, I love it. It's a great day. Uh, the cookout at the end is great. You see everyone hanging around, uh, celebrating all the work they did. That's my favorite part. Okay, well, we're looking forward to it. We'll be Thank there you. and we'll help you promote it. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Just to recap briefly, uh, Saturday, April 16th, uh, sign up at 7.30, starts at 9.00 goes through 12 all over the city, find a street near you, but let them know ahead of time <laughs> and register. More information, 508-580-7827. Keep Brockton beautiful day. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.